everyone welcome back to my channel today I am giving you guys my updated skincare routine there's a lot here and I did not want to make this video really really long so I'm gonna split this up into two parts so I'm gonna have part one that's gonna go up today and part two that's gonna go up tomorrow today is my daily routine and these are things that I reach for on a daily basis to maintain the glowing skin and trying to keep the hyperpigmentation down below the skin surface and my adult acne so these are all things that I use but tomorrow's video I'm going to be going through all of the products that I have been testing and trying from the brand The Ordinary there is a lot that I've been testing out for several months I think I started the process probably back in like May there's some really good products that I found in that brand and there's some duds so in tomorrow's video I'm gonna get into all of that along with what I did to get rid of my adult acne and get it under control and also what I did to get rid of really bad hyperpigmentation when I say I had horrible hyperpigmentation I am NOT lying I had a mustache I had it above my eyebrows I had it right here on on my cheeks it was terrible so I'm gonna get into all of that in tomorrow's video but today we're just gonna talk about my daily skincare routine and I'm kind of excited about it let me just say this when this video goes up today is the last day I have several products in here that I ride or die from the brand Tatcha so today is the last day that they are having a 20% off sale on their website the code is friends 19 and yes I've been stocking up I bought quite a bit in the last couple of days but I always like taking advantage of buying my skincare on the 20% Sales, whether it's at Sephora or on you know the brands website or a Nordstrom sale or whatever it is I always try to take advantage because a lot of my skincare is more expensive and in tomorrow's video I'm going to go through the ordinary products and give you guys some alternatives to some of the products that I use at a more affordable price So we're going to start with my morning routine. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is cleanse my skin with this. So this is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. The reason why I like to use a cleansing oil in the morning is because at nighttime, that's when I do more of my like deep cleaning. And I don't want to over cleanse my skin and that's the one mistake that a lot of people make is over cleansing yes you need to wash your face twice a day but you don't want to be using really harsh like deep cleansing in the morning and at night so I use a gentle mild cleanser in the morning this one is fantastic but I recommend any cleansing oil in the morning I, th I feel like it's just made a world of difference when it comes to the overall health of my skin so I like this one from Tatcha, but if you can find one that you like, definitely cleansing oils are amazing. Then during the winter time, not during the summer, but during the winter, I am more dry. And I will go in with this, and I just bought me a large bottle. This is the only one I have at the moment. Um, I just bought me a new one from the Tatcha website, but this is the Essence. This is very expensive, but this is like their plumping skin hydrator like this hydrates my skin so well especially during those dry winter months it's very expensive but it's a fantastic hydrator so I will use this to kind of tone the face during the summer spring and fall when I'm not so dry and I'm just more normal I will reach for this toner from Lancome but lately I have been absolutely loving this from the ordinary and the only reason why I'm talking about this product I will get into all the details about this more in tomorrow's video but this one is the glycolic acid 7% toning solution phenomenal toner after like, that's kind of toned and my skin's kind of you know nice and really dry then I go in with this this is from Obagi so this is the vitamin C Arbutin it's a brightening serum and it has 10% L ascorbic acid and this is so good like one of my favorite vitamin C products and I like to do my vitamin C serums in the morning and this one is just the one of the best that I have found I know that drunk elephant I've heard has a really good vitamin C uh, but I do like to have a good vitamin C in my routine and I cannot recommend any type of vitamin C in your routine it's just it's amazing I cannot recommend it enough then I will go in with this so this is the Tatcha 
Silk Peony. This is the best eye cream for hydration, you guys. It's so good. I put this underneath my eyes during the day just to keep them nice and hydrated. And when I go in with my concealer, you know, when I start to do my makeup, my under eyes are nice and hydrated. And if you have dry under eyes, this will completely change that. And I have just noticed a difference in the overall hydration of my under eyes since I started using this. It's kind of like a balm, and then as you start to rub it in, it's just so, oh, uh, it's so good, you guys. My final step would be to add my moisturizer. This is the only one I can use. Sunscreen and moisturizers break me out so bad. Oh, it drives me crazy. And I need sunscreen because I am using a lot of, you know, retinal creams and st all that kind of stuff. You really need to be wearing a sunscreen no matter what. And when you have adult acne and sunscreen can irritate it and break it out, it's really hard to find a good sunscreen. So I found this one from Dermalogica. My dermatologist recommended it to me. In fact, my mother-in-law has really bad rosacea and she has a horrible, like she, her skin will completely turn red, like it's on fire when she puts sunscreen on her skin. And I feel really bad for her because she suffers with it and she needs to, she needs to put a cream on her skin to kind of calm down the rosacea, but with that cream, she needs to be protected by the sun with SPF, but SPF will irritate it. It's kind of exactly what I deal with when it comes to adult acne. I let her try this when she was here and it did not break her out at all. This is one of the best sunscreens. This is the Dynamic Skin Recovery. This is the SPF 50. My dermatologist always told me like 30 and higher. This one is 50, but this is such a good daily moisturizer with sunscreen. If you're sensitive to sunscreen, I know that this is expensive, but if you are sensitive to sunscreen like I am, I cannot recommend this one enough. It's so good. It, to, to me, it's worth every penny because it's protecting my skin from the sun and I don't break out. So I am a happy camper with it. I don't care how much I gotta pay, okay? Nobody likes to break out all the time. So of course, then I will go in with my lash, my lash and brow grow serum. I'm still growing out my brows. So that is my final step. Normally I would take a rag and kind of wipe out any type of product that's in my brows and kind of wipe around my eyelashes and I will stick these on and I'm done. And then I wait about, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour before I start doing my makeup. I like to let all of my products kind of absorb before going in with makeup. So the first thing I do is I grab my Clinique Take the Day Off. Nothing takes my makeup off like this. This stuff is the bomb. I love this stuff and I have it on backup all the time. I've been using it for so many years. I've used other balm makeup removers, but nothing grabs the makeup off like this one. I can tell you, it's so good. The wipes that I use are from Kirkland, the Costco brands. This is my favorite for like wiping off the balm. My dermatologist told me that it's always good to use some type of cleanser or balm, something that's very gentle. That's what I like about the balm is that it kind of removes all the dirt and gunk out of my skin. Then I kind of start with a clean, somewhat clean surface to go in and cleanse with. And now if you're going straight in with a cleanser to try to remove all of your makeup, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna remove all of the makeup during that cleansing session. So she always recommended, especially if you guys have enlarged pores, if you do not take care of your pores and keep them from getting all dirty and gunky, they will look enlarged. And to minimize your pores, cleaning your skin is key and removing all of your makeup with some sort of a balm and wiping it away with like a wipe and then going in with a deeper cleanser is key to removing all of that makeup out of your skin. So that's why I love this. And then I will go and grab my Tatcha Deep Cleanse. This one I love. Like these two are so good. Like I cannot, oh, they're so good. I use one pump of the, of the um, oil and I use a tiny, like little teeny drip, like a little drop of this. And I place it in this hole of my Clarisonic and I use my Clarisonic to cleanse my skin. I feel like it's very important to use a Clarisonic and I've had this one for so many years, I can't even tell you. It's probably been, I don't know, seven, eight years ago since I got this and 
the Clarisonic just really works and just massages the skin and lifts that makeup out from underneath your pores. And I swear, since I started using the Clarisonic on a daily, like before I would only use the Clarisonic like once a week. Um, I would say in the last like six months to a year, I've started to use it every single night. And I've noticed a difference with this area of my pores looking better and not as enlarged. And I just love this. This Clarisonic is fabulous. So it takes about two minutes and I just massage it. It turns off on its own. It has like its own little timer. So then I rinse that away and I pat myself dry. But let me just tell you, these washcloths, I got these on Amazon a couple of months ago and they are like the greatest thing I have ever used to cleanse my face. You guys, these are so soft. I will put a link to them in the description box down below. So you get a pack of six of these for $12.59. They are ultra soft and they're a bamboo charcoal washcloth. They are 11 by 11 and you, like I said, you get a pack of six. It had like a five star review. That was the reason why I wanted to get them. These are so good. They do have the little hooks where you can hang them up, but these are so soft on the face. I cannot recommend these washcloths enough. I love them so much. I also wanted to mention these. So I don't like cotton balls. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I hate cotton balls. Cotton balls drive me crazy. I can't touch raw cotton like that. Ugh. And anyway, so in order for me to use a toner, I, I bought these on Amazon. You get like a huge pack of them for like four bucks. Um, this comes with 200, I believe. I actually cut them in four, uh, but this is how they come. And they're just little wipes and I actually cut them in fourths so they actually last a really really long time but these are so good and I will also leave a link to these in the description box down below you can get them on Amazon okay now that we got those out of the way now I do not use the toner twice a day so normally I use this at night sometimes I will use this during the day and I will use this at night I don't know why I mentioned that I use this during the day because I actually don't use this as a toner in the daytime I only use this at night so just FYI I only mentioned that I go in with a toner but I showed you guys the different toners that I use sometimes I will reach for this one in the morning and I also have one from the belief it's like a hydrating toner I, I, I have that one too and that one's really good to kind of hydrate the skin um, but I also really love this essence it's so good but anyways don't use this during the night in the morning use this at night go in with my toner kind of let that absorb and and then I will go in with my retinal cream. So I just started my retinal treatments again. I don't do my retinal treatments all year round. Normally I discontinue it right around like springtime into summer and then I start back in the fall and do it all through the winter. Because my skin is so used to retinal creams, I will put it on about three or four nights a week. I normally start out with like two nights a week, then I bump it up to three and then I maintain it about every like four times a week. That's max. Sometimes if my skin is more dry, I will bring it back down to three nights a week. Just depends on my skin, but my skin is pretty used to retinal creams. So on the nights that I don't use retinal creams, I reach for the dewy skin cream and I'm out of the big one. So I'm only on my samples. I have already bought it, believe me. This is what I ordered during the 20% off sale. But this Tatcha dewy skin cream is like heaven in a jar. It is the best skin cream I have ever used in my entire life. I don't think I've ever used anything as creamy and like my skin just really absorbs it and it keeps me hydrated all throughout the night. If you guys have dry skin, I know that some of this stuff is very expensive and I completely understand that. If you have dry skin, this was this one is the one that I would splurge on because this will keep your skin so hydrated and so dewy and just plump and just oh it's so good it is one of the best skin creams i've ever tried this one is definitely hands down the best so i have a couple of different retinal products that i like to use my number one favorite combination is this one so this is the rafisa this one is kind of hard to find i like to mix it with my blender from obaji now my my blender is a skin brightener and this helps to diminish the dark spots and again I don't use this during the summer I only use this during the winter months but I basically take a drop of this this much of the blender 
and then I will mix the same amount of the Rafisa. So there's the Rafisa and there's the blender and I mix them together on the back of my hand and you got plenty and these will last me all year. In fact, I would say that these probably last me about two years. So yes, it's an expense in the beginning, but you know, they're going to last you a really long time. I like mixing my retinol with my blend. I, I call it blender because it used to be blender. The blender formula had the hydroquinone in it. This one does not. And I kind of prefer the one that did, but whatever. Just discovered this from Drunk Elephant. Um, this is the uh, retinol cream. This is their 1%. This is a good retinol cream. I have been really impressed with it. And I've thought about buying a larger size of this one. Uh, because this is a good retinal cream. I could tell right away it was a fantastic retinal cream. So if you're somebody that has sensitivities to retinols, this one is fantastic. This one is from Wander Beauty. It's called Do Not Disturb. And this is also 1% retinoid. And this is a fantastic cream and it doesn't cause me to have any sensitivity. In fact, I was able to use this pretty much every single night and it didn't make my skin feel red and raw and hurt and all of that. So it's a very, very gentle, gentle retinol cream. Now, if you're just maybe allergic to retinol or you just do not want to use retinol at all, I completely understand. Up here on the screen, I will put a picture of the product that I really like from Ole Hendrickson. It is kind of their retinol alternative and it is fantastic. It does kind of the same thing as retinol, but it's not retinol. And you know, again, so if you're sensitive to retinol and you just do not want to try it, I definitely recommend this one from Ole Hendrickson. I have a night eye cream as well. I like my daytime with from Tatcha. This is the one I use at night. This is the Obagi Elastoderm. This one is the first eye cream that I actually noticed my wrinkles minimizing and this one just works. Like I can't tell you how it works. I can't tell you what's in it that makes it work, but it is fantastic. It's highly rated and I can see why everybody loves it because it's a really good eye cream. And I think the first person that turned me on to this was Wayne Goss. Uh, it's a, that's an old video. That's probably a five or six year old video. And he was the first person that I ever heard talk about Elastoderm, kind of using it off and on. And recently for the last year, I've been using it pretty much every night and I love it. So that's pretty much my basic nighttime routine. I can't forget about my Tatcha uh, Camellia lip balm, you guys. Oh my gosh, I have actually two of them. Let me just show you. I have one for my beauty room and I have one for my bathroom because I'm obsessed. It's bad, I know, but I can't help myself. It is. So let me talk about like the divine, you know, like shaving my face and my masks and all that. I do shave my face once a week. I use this, which is a straight face razor. Uh, you get like three of them for a couple bucks on Amazon and I will just kind of, you know, shave the face. This one works as all, like also as a exfoliator, which is really, really good. Uh, I really like these. These are great. And the thing that I like about shaving my face is number one, it does exfoliate. And number two, my makeup just applies so much better. When you shave your face, you will never go back. You will never, ever go back. I also really like this face shaver. So this one is the Flawless, and this one needs to be charged. In fact, I might have a charger down here that'll work for it so you can hear what it sounds like. That's as far as we're gonna get on the camera. That's what it sounds like. It just kind of goes around and shaves your face. It's like an electric shaver for, just like a man's electric shaver. It's the exact same way. It is fantastic. Both of them are really good. As far as masks go, this is from Wonder Beauty. This is the Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Pill Off Mask. This is one of my favorites because I love to peel off masks. They, I just think it's so fun. But um, this just makes my skin look and appear to be brighter. I mask about once or twice a week, depending on the week. Now, if I have been filming and doing a lot of filming and planning, applying a lot of makeup, then sometimes I'll do it three times a week. It just depends on you know how much makeup if I've applied on my face for the week. I also absolutely, I know this is not an entire video about Tatcha, but I have a lot of Tatcha products because I'm obsessed with their brand. This is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mask and it is fantastic. It is one of the best masks and the other mask that I love that I'm out of is from Charlotte Tilbury and that mask is the only sheet mask that actually goes down to the third layer of the skin. and. 
I like it because it kind of wraps around your ears. It's very expensive. I think it's $25 for one, um, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put it up here on the screen. But that one is such a good mask, and I use those about once a month. But these I will kind of do, you know, once a week. Now, I also absolutely love, this is the uh, Violet C Radiant Mask. Oh my gosh, this mask is so good. It is so good. Oh my gosh. It does turn purple and it looks kind of funky, but it is really, really good. It, it does make my skin just look really radiant and it's good. The other one that I really love, a friend of mine sent this to me. This is called the Pretty Baby Naturals and she created her own naturals brand. This is good. I don't know exactly how much this is off the top of my head because she sent this to me, but I will put a link to this in the description box down below and I will also, you know, put the information here on the screen so you guys know. You know, everything they have is all natural. This is the Masquerade Natural Face Mask. It tightens pores. It's supposed to be deep cleansing, non-drying, and for all skin types. This makes my skin feel like a baby's butt. It's so good. If you guys are interested in that all natural type of skincare, they have an entire line and it's, this is, this is so good. Like I can't, I love it. It's so good. These eye masks from Wander Beauty. These are the baggage claim gold eye mask. These are the best eye masks. Like I live for the way my under eyes look when I take these off. Like I love these eye masks. I don't know if you guys have ever tried these, but oh, so good. Those are all the products that I pretty much use on a regular basis. Like I said, in tomorrow's video, you guys will hear me talk about all of the products that I've tested from the ordinary, very affordable products that will replace some of these products that I have used here that are more expensive. Now, I don't feel like they're gonna replace my skincare, but if you're on a budget and you can't afford the high-end skincare, I completely understand because I've been there. Uh, then some of the products from The Ordinary I think are fantastic. So in tomorrow's video, I will get into all of that and also how I got my skin to have a natural glow, which is probably the number one thing that people ask me. Out of everything that I review, everything I do, the question I get the most is how I have got my skin to have a natural glow. And in tomorrow's video, I'm gonna go through all of that and give you guys all of those details. And if you guys are watching this in the future, I will leave a link to part two to this video in the description box down below so you guys can just go right ahead and jump ahead. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys and I'm excited to share my skincare routine with you all. And if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'm not an esthetician. I do not have any any type of background in skincare only for the simple fact that I've done a lot of research and I have been diving into skincare for the last eight or nine years so I've learned a lot over the years and I'm on constant uh, basis with my dermatologist and the guy that does my Botox which by the way I do get Botox on my forehead and my crow's feet um, anyways so you know I've learned a lot over the years but I am NOT a dermatologist I am NOT an esthetician I am NOT a professional in skincare these are just my personal experiences with these products and just how much I love them so that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up thank you guys so much for all the love that you show me and my channel it means so much to me I hope you guys have a wonderful Wonderful day filled with love and joy. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video and I love you all so much. Bye!